What's up everybody? Gonna play a little bit of this deluxe reverb with a Les Paul and this Iron Man 2 mini attenuator. Show you guys where I got everything set. Volume's at seven, treble at six, bass right around four. A little bit of reverb, and I don't have the tremolo kicked in. So this is where I got this Iron Man 2 mini attenuator. This is kind of room volume. I have a practice space that I play at and I'm easily able to get this uh, up to room volume. So yeah. <laughs> this up a little bit we just brought that up from uh, minus 25 decibels now this is minus 15 decibels and it's bringing it a little bit close to that natural volume of the amp <laughs> Just to give you a little bit of a idea of the range of this attenuator, I'm in just a, a regular room right now. I've got this deluxe reverb at seven, so real nice crunchy tone out of it. On the pedal board, I don't have anything engaged. This is just all uh, deluxe reverb. So yeah, it's a good Let's take a look at this attenuator. So this is kind of the, uh, the range of attenuation that we have with the solo boost button engaged and that knob all the way to the right. That'll be completely live volume of the amp. It's very loud. Play a little bit of that in a sec. And then you have this high low range within this uh, attenuation decibel wheel. So this is kind of, let's start at the bottom. This is as quiet as it gets with that deluxe reverb at seven. So you can still kind of have a conversation. If I was in an apartment building, I'd feel totally comfortable uh, playing at this level and, and knowing that I'm not annoying anybody. take this up a notch go up a decibel level so we're still working in that low range uh, ring so this is kind of going from quietest to loudest so here we go again just a little bit louder <laughs>
solo boosting gauge, you can hear that thing start hissing. 